conventional soil science would say that you can't change soil organic matter in our lifetime. What we've been seeing, and the reason that we we're so interested in this, is that producers that have been doing new practices, their soil organic matter is going up quite dramatically. And so if you're seeing 5% change in organic matter over 20 years, or we were down at the Waldron and we saw a 3% change over five years of implementing new grazing management, it's shocking and, and very exciting. The concept of intensive grazing is challenge and rest. Just like an Olympic athlete, all they do for four years leading up to the Olympics they work really hard and then they rest. So with moving in the cattle, that's what we're doing too. We stress the landscape with animals, move them on, allow for a lengthy rest. Soil organic matter is 58% carbon. Through that microbial interchange, when there's enough carbon flowing into the system through photosynthesis from all of those plants, the mycorrhizal fungi will make this substance called glomalin, and it's, it's kind of like a glue. It sticks a whole bunch of little bits of soil together to create what they call is an aggregate. The mycorrhizal fungi will enable it to be resistant to water, so if, if it's not there, you may have an aggregate that forms, but when water comes down into the soil, it'll just like explode, and it clogs up all those pore spaces, so it changes our water infiltration and everything else. But what glomalin will also do is it protects the carbon inside that aggregate from the microbes eating it, and then just respiring back out the CO2. And so that process, when there's enough photosynthesis happening and there's enough carbon in the system, we start to stabilize carbon in the soil at rates that we didn't really realize. Glomalin was only discovered in 2004. And so I think that that's why we're still trying to piece together how these systems are working and what's actually happening when we're seeing these vast improvements in soil health through new grazing management systems or other regenerative agricultural processes. We're just taking advantage of what Mother Nature's been doing right from the get-go.